he goes. Welcome, this is the November Stealth Camping Alliance Challenge. So I'm happy to come out today uh, to do this uh, cook-off challenge. Thanks to Squib and the other members of the Stealth Camping Alliance. So um, I'm camping next to this busy roundabout and I've got a new setup to show you today. A new stealthy uh, small tent and I'll get that set up. We're going to have some heavy rain overnight. So I'm going to put up um, my tarp as well. So when I start doing my cooking, I should have a dry area. And tonight I'm cooking a special Chinese meal. So I'm looking forward to this. So this is the lightweight, super light tarp, DD tarp. So it's always good to stick in your bag just to get a bit of cover. So I can sit under there. If it does start to rain, it'll be perfectly dry. I can put my bags in that side. I'm going to use that for my like vestibule area for my new shelter so that I've got a way of getting in and out and it won't get soaked. I'll be able to do the cook-off challenge even if it pours down later. And I just sort of just tie things on as I can really to the trees that are close by. It's a question of making the most of what you can find. Then I've got a branch in there to support the mid piece. I might have to uh, move that when I put the tent up but we'll see how it goes. So that's the basics of the shelter. It is the Snug Pack Ionosphere. So I'm trying this. And now I'm going to put this. This is the inner tent. So you could just use it in the summer just as this, just with a mesh, and sleep in there. It's a bit like a big bivy, really. It's a one man tent. I think you need the tarp, really, as well, to get in and out of. So I'm trying this new setup. And I've got a camo fly, which I'll just put over the top of it and that will finish it off and make it waterproof for tonight. So that's it pitched. It's never perfect the first time, is it? Still getting the hang of it. Seems like it's got quite high off the ground, but that will mean there's lots of ventilation in there. I think with the tarp as well, it covers the entrance up, and that should help give me somewhere to cook tonight. Here we are again, the birds are just getting ready for dusk, it is dusk, just after 4 o'clock, these winter camps. Good thing is, 
you once you're set up you want to set up before it's dark you can chill out for a long time so I've got some things to do I've got some lovely food to cook for this cook-off challenge I may have just uh, set up the rest of my stuff um, put it in the tent probably show you more of this new new setup tomorrow because it's too dark now but it's got like a, a fly and the inner as you saw and um, it's all it's okay I'll show you a bit later um, so I'm just gonna chill out here if you haven't done many stealth camps before you're probably thinking how can you do this you know isn't it scary isn't an axe murderer gonna come out well as I say to people um, I work in London there's more chance of an axe murderer actually attacking you walking around London and that's very very rare although it does happen sometimes but the more of these stealth camps you do the more relaxed you feel the more at peace you feel in nature and your surroundings you know your you know what the animal sounds like you know there's nothing in you that, here that can really harm you so you're a bit more confident about your environment so I'm very peaceful here not expecting any disturbances this doesn't there's no footpath through this piece of woodland it doesn't go anywhere next to a busy road but everybody's too interested watching the World Cup to come out tonight so it looks like um, got a bit of a break in the weather for an hour 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 50 50 chance of rain then from midnight onwards it's going to be pretty heavy rain all the way through until about five in the morning so really I think I'd better start this cook off now really seven o'clock so what have I got in the bag Chinese food chopsticks obviously big pan Chinese cooking step by step guide I'm gonna cook stir-fried chicken with peanuts and chili and try and follow this recipe I've got to marinate the chicken I've got to cut cut the chicken it's not ideal when you're outside and then marinate the chicken for half an hour with the soy sauce and the cooking wine so the only way I'm going to be able to do that with what I've got is by just doing that in the pan and then waiting for it to marinate not ideal but that's the only choice I've got I haven't got separate bowls and you've got to be careful with chicken that you don't cross contaminate things soy sauce in one of these and then a bit of chili as well this is a little chili oil and then give that a stir around should have done that earlier really but for this cook off challenge I'm going to do it properly Raw chicken. You don't want to take any chances, do you? So I've just chopped up all the veg: green peppers, yellow peppers. Didn't press the record button, so you have to believe that I just did that here. I did. So now, just waiting for the chicken to finish marinating. Here goes. It's 
it's getting hot. I'm just gonna put butcher in first. Got a proper pan this time as well. Some of the red. Finish first. Make it a stir fry. We're doing a treat, look at this. I'm gonna add some vegetable stock in a minute. A few more veg first. So I'll add the rest of the beans. Putting the peppers in. Some more of the um, sweet corn. I'm not going to put the nuts in yet. I've got some cashew nuts. And I'm going to put in this um, cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. Bit more liquid in there. Bit more power. And I'm going to put some um, like chicken stock. Who needs a Chinese takeaway when you can do this? It's actually quite a good camping meal. To eat Chinese food. It's basically, just sticking everything in the pan. a few ingredients and just um, cooking it through pretty quick I'm gonna put a bit more soy sauce in We've got to have plenty of soy sauce in Chinese food now I'm going to do something with the cashew nuts I'm going to put them in. And everything else that was left over. See if I can get those just to cook up a little bit. On this side of the pan. Nothing better than cooking outdoors. It's cold, it's wet. But the smell of this food smells delicious. It's not that stealthy, I don't know who can smell this in the neighbourhood. I might put a little bit more chilli in there. Got a little taste, it wasn't that spicy so... Put a bit more in there. And now I've got to do a trick as well, I've got to do the rice in this same pan. So I've got some easy rice, I'm just going to cook it in half of this pan for about three minutes. So I use this uh, basmati rice, um, it's quite handy, you can buy these everywhere now, you stick it in the pan. And then you've got rice. I'm going to put the whole lot in, should be enough, half of that. The rain starts to come down. You basically just stir fry this rice, bit of water maybe. Should set me up for the night, shouldn't it? Or this in this storm. Give that a bit of a heat. Yeah. 
there we have it that's it that's um chinese chili chicken with rice in the comments i'll put the recipe i'm hungry now but it wouldn't be right if i didn't serve it on the day tripper plate so i'm trying to put the rice out first waste any of this Chinese chili chicken and rice let's give it a go mm. beautiful not too salty you taste the chili these um, sweet corn are just just um, crunchy enough And the rice is all mixed in, but that's fine. I'm going to enjoy this. Who loves Chinese food? I mean, I love Chinese food because um, obviously I've got a Taiwanese wife who obviously speaks Chinese. And um, I lived in Hong Kong for eight years when I was younger. So obviously I got to enjoy a lot of Cantonese Chinese food. There's no doubt it's the best food. Chinese food is definitely the best. That's why I can use chopsticks. If I couldn't use chopsticks in Hong Kong, I would have starved. That was something else. I really enjoyed that just as the rain starts to come down I've just finished in time still raining This tarp is keeping it off my end of the tent. Anyway, I better stay in the dry. Another new thing I want to show you from my camp to try and make my winter camps a bit cozier is I've got myself some of these. If you've seen this before, called Sundick, Sundick Outdoors. They're like down slippers, booties. I told you I like glamping, didn't I? Basically, you, you put one of those on your feet at night, and it puffs out into like a, a down sock in the sleeping bag. Keeps your feet beautifully warm. We'll see how it goes tonight. I've been wearing them around the house actually last yesterday when I got them. Even working from home, your feet get cold under your desk. So yeah, so I'll let you know how they go. Should be nice and toasty in my feet tonight. So it's um it's about midnight now. The rain has held off a bit and um it's been lovely and peaceful. I've been watching a bit of Netflix and just chilling out here. And uh, nice and warm and dry. One of the questions that Squib asked was, that we should answer as part of this challenge is, how did we get into stealth camping? So how did I start stealth camping? Well, I think if you've been following my channel for a while, I've pretty much shared the whole story on my YouTube channel is how I got into stealth camping I mean um, two and a half years ago actually during the start of lockdown I just wanted to get out and do something and um, I'm a big believer in freedom and freedom of choice so lockdown didn't go down that well with me 
uh, for many reasons and um, I think stealth camping was a little bit of uh, well I can't go on holiday but I can go for a camp in my local area so that's what I did and that's how I got into it I started hiking doing day trips day hikes and then I realized well if I did a camp I could do two hikes together and cover more distance so I started doing the uh, South Downs Way which is um, was one of the videos I did and then I realized I could do a camp so that was the beginning of it all really I did a few few um, sort of test camps and then it's gone from there really and then um, obviously joined the Stealth Camping Alliance it's gone to the next level so um, yeah it's just a, I just um, I suppose like I said, I believe in freedom. Um, this world where we're monitored and we're with surveillance cameras everywhere. Um, yeah, I just want to get away for a few hours. Hopefully, where no one knows where I am. And it's part of um, what keeps us sort of... Um, I know it keeps us as individuals and I suppose free spirits where we go about and actually can go do some things without um, the authorities telling us what we can and can't do so I'll leave it at that really uh, for the purposes of YouTube but basically I just want to experience a bit of freedom and I love the outdoors and get out in the outdoors I still enjoy it and I really enjoy doing these challenges so for now though I think the rain's coming now you can hear a few drops on the tent you can still hear the traffic and the police cars going past near this busy roundabout but I think I'm going to try and get my head down for a few hours I think the rain will be coming in heavy in the next few hours so I'm going to get some rest and I'll see you in the morning Morning has arrived. It's been raining pretty much throughout the night. You're still here. It's still raining a bit now, so I need to get up and start getting packed away. <laughs> I thought they were under the top. Always best to get the sleeping bag away early. It doesn't get wet. Especially if you're doing more than one night. Kept me lovely and warm last night, the sleeping bag. Again, it's the um, it's the mat that does most of the most of the work in keeping you warm. You can see in there, there's it's not very high, but you've got lots of width and length, so that's okay. And you've got places to store up the top end, but plenty of room there. And there's my headphone cover. I didn't think I'd find that one again.
we are, back out to the roundabout. So that's it for this uh, November South Captain Lake Challenge. So heading home now, bit of a wet pack up there. I can't remember when I've had to pack up in the rain in all my camps, not many, not many times. We really had a nice peaceful camp, lovely food. Looking forward to seeing all the other videos. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.